What's going on everybody? I'm Jory Goodman, another time teller. Welcome to the Wednesday episode. So if there's one thing I get a ton of questions about, it's vintage watch collecting. How do you do it? Should you do it? Should you stay away from it? There's a whole lot to think about. And hear me out, I mean, I love vintage watches. There's a definite romance when it comes to vintage watches. And I actually think there's a definite benefit when it comes to vintage watches. However, the risk increases when you're buying vintage watches. And we're gonna go over all of this today. And stay tuned because I'm gonna share with you five vintage watches you should be buying right now in 2019. It's 2.41 p.m. Let's get down to business. All right guys, so I definitely don't think you should be staying away from vintage watch collecting. I don't think you should be intimidated. And honestly, it's really not that hard. There's just a bit more to take into consideration. So let's look over some of the potential risks of vintage watch collecting. First thing to take into consideration, vintage watches are very often used, right? You're not buying a new watch. So there might be some wear and tear. There might be some service issues. You gotta take this into consideration, guys. Also, when it comes to buying vintage watches, you're often dealing with a price seller right you don't have the comfort or security of dealing with an actual store and I know for a fact the first thing people think about when they're buying a vintage watch is authenticity there's some definite authenticity concerns because you're often not there in person to physically inspect the vintage watch you're usually buying these online all right so now that we know what to be aware of what to think about how do we mitigate these risks well if you're at all still interested in buying a vintage watch which you should be because vintage watches are awesome have no fear because here on this channel I have a proprietary system on how to buy a vintage watch. The Time Teller Guidebook on Vintage Watches. It's not actually a guidebook. I'm just gonna read it off to you right now. Number one on this proprietary system of vintage watch buying, try to learn as much as possible about the various reference numbers and serial numbers pertaining to the watch you're buying, okay? Take some time, do some research, find out does the watch come with different dials, with different handsets? Maybe the watch was only made in stainless steel. Maybe the watch is precious metal only. You gotta know these things so you don't buy an altered watch, maybe even a fake watch. Do your research. I mean, seriously, you gotta ask questions about the watches you're buying. Maybe ask questions on the forums, ask questions to people like me. You can always ask me a question on my Instagram at The Simple Consultant. I get hundreds and hundreds of messages a day, guys, so please be patient, but I will do my best to get back to you and answer your question and help you out when it comes to buying a vintage watch. But guys, listen up. You shouldn't just be asking me questions. You should be asking the seller a bunch of questions and don't worry about being annoyed, okay? He should be very forthcoming. He should be very eager to answer your questions and if he's not, if he's pushy, if he does get annoyed, then you shouldn't be doing business with him in the first place, okay? He's selling you a product. He should be forthcoming about the information and the history on the product that he's selling you, okay? This is maybe the most important rule in the whole rule book or guidebook or whatever this is called. Just listen up, okay? You gotta ask questions about service history. Ask questions about the movement. Have him send you pictures of the movement, of the crown, of the dial. And I'm saying good quality photos, not just random photos, fuzzy photos photos from his iPhone. I'm saying good quality photos. Take your time, learn about the watch that you're actually buying and it'll pay off in the end, I promise. And again, if the seller gets annoyed with you, don't do business with him, don't give him your money. And I know this proprietary guidebook, it's kind of a no brainer, right? These are kind of obvious things to do. Learn about the watch you're buying, ask questions, try to see pictures, do your research, have patience, yada, 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 but it needs to be said. All right, so another question I get is about where to buy vintage watches. Can can you buy them on Etsy? Can you buy them on Chrono24? Can you buy them on eBay? Yes, I, I've actually bought watches from all of those sites, but you gotta be smart. For instance, I'm gonna kind of build a scenario for you here. If there is a really sketchy store in a really bad part of town, maybe it's dimly lit, there's some shady characters in there, and it has a really bad reputation, like you've heard some really kind of weird things about that shop, would you go in there and take out your money? Probably not, you probably wanna stay away from that store. So as a whole, these websites are fine, but you gotta treat each seller like their own individual store. So make sure each seller has really good ratings, make sure they're reputable, make sure they have some decent history. Again, kind of an obvious thing, kind of a no-brainer, but I gotta say it. All right, all this talk about buying vintage watches, let's go ahead and actually take a look at buying some. Here's five awesome vintage watches that you should be buying right now in 2019. All right, guys, so the first watch we're gonna take a look at is a vintage Hamilton Gordon. Now, honestly, you could probably add any vintage Hamilton to this list, but it's just a great way to get into maybe your first precious metal watch. This one happens to be solid 
18 karat gold. And again, there's some definite orological significance here being an American made Hamilton, which of course doesn't exist anymore. And you gotta love that old school rectangular design and that dual tone dial with the running seconds. Just a beautiful watch all around. Now, luckily, if you happen to live in the US, and I'm not trying to be ignorant of all my international viewers, but if you happen to live in the US, these are everywhere in flea markets at antique shows and antique stores. You can find vintage American made Hamiltons everywhere. You can get them for a steal. And guys, real quick, because we're talking about a little vintage Hamilton, I gotta show mine off. Here's my little Hamilton Brock. You guys have seen it before. I was actually given this one from my grandfather and uh, yeah, just a really special watch to me and a really great piece of Americana. All right, next up, the next watch you should be buying now is the Seiko Lord Marvel. Every Seiko fan needs to own a Lord Marvel. I actually don't have one currently in the collection. I might just buy this one. Now these watches are from a time when Seiko was just throwing high beat movements in their regular everyday watches. A 36,000 BPH movement, ridiculously smooth, ridiculously impressive. This is an absolute crazy watch to have and you can find it for well under a grand. This one is selling on eBay right now for around $500, buy it now. Scoop it up, what are you doing? These prices are definitely gonna increase, crazy. All right, next up is a vintage Longines Admiral five star. Ooh, very fancy. Now I know you guys always give me a hard time. I don't talk about Longines enough on this channel. Well, guess what? I'm actually a big fan of vintage Longines. Now the Admiral series from Longines was actually really fun. They had some different case shapes. They had some cushion cases. They had some just your standard round cases and they had some rectangular watches like this. And uh, this is just a really clean example of one. Now these vintage Longines Admirals are a really simple way to get into a unique Swiss made automatic watch from a really reputable company. I mean, come on, it's Longines. And again, looking around online, you can find these under a grand all day long. I wish I saw more people wearing these and uh, yeah, pick one up. All right, so the next vintage watch I want you guys to pay attention to in 2019 are the vintage Certina DS2s. Now, for my regular viewers, you will all be very familiar with my personal DS2 Chrono Olympic. Now, unfortunately, uh, a Chrono Olympic like that original with the original bracelet, they typically auction for well over $5,000. But if you're okay with picking up a DS2 without the chronograph complication, you're looking at a really cool, really solid watch for well under $1,000 all day long. If you want a Swiss made watch that's built like an absolute tank, then please pay attention to the Certina DS2. All right, so last but not least, we're gonna take a look at a vintage Omega Constellation. Now I know vintage Seamasters get all the fame. Unfortunately, the prices have drastically increased on vintage Omega Seamasters. Finding one in really good condition like this, it's getting harder and harder to find them under $1,000 but have no fear. The good news is Omega has churned out watches throughout the years. You're bound to find something to pick up, I promise. Just have patience. Now, I personally would recommend taking a look at these older Omega Constellations. They're beautiful. I personally own a vintage Omega Constellation. This one happens to be an Omega Constellation Quartz, and it is just a perfect snapshot of the Quartz crisis. It's funky, it's different, it's cool, I love it. And hey, I've said it a million times, okay? These vintage Omegas are a really simple, really easy way to get into your first, maybe luxury brand, maybe it's your first Swiss watch, maybe it's your first mechanical watch, just a really fun way to expand your collection and expand your knowledge. You're gonna learn a lot. And there you have it guys, five really cool vintage watches I think you should be buying right now in the year of 2019, but I wanna hear from you, okay? Which vintage watches are on your radar? Which vintage watches are in your collection? Leave me a comment, I wanna hear from you. So guys, hopefully this episode's helped you out on your vintage watch collecting journey. If you take your time, you ask your questions, you do some research, you have some patience, you can end up finding a really, really cool watch for an absolute steal. And guys, as always, I wanna thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please click the link in the description below and check out the Time Teller shop. I have watches, watch straps, watch winders, watch toolkits. Again, you support the channel a ton when you do that, so click that link, shop around, thank you. And if you're new here, if this is your first time joining us here at the Time Teller channel, I wanna say thanks so much for stopping by. Go ahead, click that subscribe button. It takes one second and it helps me out a ton. And while you're at it, you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the Time Teller. There's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't want to miss it. I'm telling you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with other watch enthusiasts, other people you think would enjoy this. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it.